Hey everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo, and here I have a very special guest who hasn't been on in a little while, but she's been supporting and watching pretty much every single episode, my beautiful, lovely wife, Shannon. <laughs> the love of my life and my greatest support. Love you. Thank you. Uh, she's also responsible for buying me all the Funko Pops, uh, so you can thank her for those. <laughs> Don't tell people about that. <laughs> Don't tell people about that she's a nerd. So, <laughs> what, what's cool about this is we're going to be talking about Captain Marvel and the special look trailer that just came out very recently. Now, I've already seen this special look trailer, but my wife has not. No. So, this will be your first time. It'll be your first reaction um, watching this trailer. So, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and play this trailer. We'll watch it once through, and then we'll go back and we'll kind of talk about it. Okay? Okay. All right. So. Yes. Go. Grunge is a good look for you. Did you have a rough day, Agent Fury? I'm gonna need clarification on this space invasion. Scrolls are infiltrating your planet. They're shapeshifters. Okay, prove you're not a scroll. That's a photon blast. And? A scroll cannot do that. I'm just supposed to take your word for that. We are Kree, strong, united. You have to let go of the past. I don't remember my past. Control it. I have this power, but I don't know where. Because she's Kree, she's been infused I've with Kree. I've never seen anything like her. You can find others. She's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. She was shaving her head. Probably not. What is this? The shield logo. Does announcing your identity on clothing help with the covert part of your job? Said the space soldier who was wearing a rubber suit. <laughs> Now. <laughs> which is super funny okay so i'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there so um what's your first thoughts like what i mean coming out of that that was a lot though right that was a minute and a half but mm -hmm. what do you think so far i mean your thoughts uh great i still don't like brie larson no <laughs> why don't you like brie larson she's just not who i she doesn't seem like a strong female in general like physically strong or like physically and like you know like there are some chicks that you would think of differently to like play this role who's like you're like think of her and you're like that's a strong well, like woman. that's a powerful like, person exactly. right there and like Catherine like, Winnick from Vikings yes she would have <laughs> been so much better Catherine Winnick from Vikings it was like our our number one pick we were like if someone's gonna play her it should definitely if someone's gonna play Captain Marvel it should definitely be Catherine Winnick from Vikings but it ended up not going that direction, um, which was sad for both of us. Yeah. But I actually like Brie Larson. I thought she did a good job. I know you roll your eyes. I thought she did a good job in Kong Skull Island. Um, you know, I've I've only seen her in a handful of things, but I'm not. I haven't seen the same things that everybody else says. You like everything and everybody, so your I know. input is so like. Not My wife's good. a critic. She's a big time critic, and you guys know. You're not you're just like oh, I know everything was amazing I, ad I advertise on my channel that I am not a critic and I'm not uh, no, hashtag not a critic that's me that's what I do I know my wife's a little bit of a Debbie Downer when it comes to this kind of stuff <laughs> okay. I know she didn't take my advice when I was like you're gonna like Titans she's like you like everything I don't trust your opinion but so then our friend Ryan said that I would actually like it, and then I believed him because we have similar thoughts. Yes. But I don't both like of them are a little more critical. Yeah, and so I, I actually think that – I don't know that Brie Larson's going to do a good job, but I don't have any reason to think she won't. And I think that she looks close enough to the source material that it works for me, and I'm willing to give her a shot when the movie comes out. I'm totally going to go see this film. I'm really excited, especially for the, the scrolls. Uh, and the Cree, you know, like they're bringing back Ronan the Accuser. I don't know if you saw that in the in the shot right here. Um, they had uh, that's the uh, presumably the back of Ronan the Accuser, you know, as a younger. They're not bringing him back. He's no. just alive. Well, 
they're bringing the actor back to play the character, so the character's back even you though the movie's a flashback. Wrong. It's not wrong. I was just referencing. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to use shorthand language with you anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, because this movie's a flashback, the actor and the character are going to be in this film again. So, yes. <laughs> but what did you think about, like, for instance, the scrolls? I've been waiting for the scrolls for a very long time. I thought it was really funny that she beats up an old lady. I know, right? That was everyone's first reaction to the original, um, you know, sighting of the scrolls in the first trailer. Um, was because she just up and punches this lady on the bus, right? Mm -hmm. And it's it's hilarious because if you know the scrolls, they're shapeshifters. So people who are comic, you know, savvy, they know it's like that's got to be a scroll, based oh, on. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, but casual viewers, there was a lot of people that were like, "She's the hero. Why did she just punch the old lady?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like it doesn't make any sense. Who said that? A lot of people online were just c super confused. You're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Un. Educated as far as this this type of stuff, not idiots. They just Once don't again, know. You're too nice. Too nice. <laughs> there I go again. But I love the look of the scrolls here. I mean, freaking that look. Could they be look. One of your. That could be your friend. I dude. So I I wasn't gonna reveal this. My wife got me this as well. I'm gonna make a video separately for another group of pops. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see if I can just tease it a little bit. There's a Captain Marvel pop. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? This is Yon Rog. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of disappearing because of the. Um, oh yeah, look, your shirt's all bright. I know my shirt's all like all like weird and bright colored now. Yeah, it changed everything. I need to change my auto adjusts. But um, anyway, I have uh, one of the Captain Marvel pops here, and it's Yon Rog, who's presumably Jude Law's character. We assume. Um, but hey, on the back it shows Talos, the scroll. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my camera too much. But. This, I think, is probably Talos right here on the shot. I'm so pumped to see the scrolls. They look fantastic. They look exactly like the comics. Um, a little bit lighter green, but it's not that big a deal. Um, no one's crying about that when they have the full, like, friggin' elf ears and the, you know, crazy Thanos chins and whatnot. It's going to be awesome. Ugh, I and like Thanos' chin. <laughs> you don't like Thanos' chin? No. <laughs> it's gross. It's not a turn on for you? Oh, my God. <laughs> I like Thanos' chin. Thanos' chin is awesome. I bet awesome. you do. I know. I would have that chin if I could choose my birth chin. I'm kidding. I would not do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So um, the rest of the trailer looks, to me, really crazy cool. Like you get to see this scroll transforming. Cool. Um, I really like how they show those those types of things. Um, the lady on the bus. They, you know, obviously that was one of everybody's either most confusing or most favorite portions of the original trailer. Um, so they obviously had to go back and re-tease that again, showing them fighting on the bus. Um, what did you think about the visual effects? Oh, I thought it was great. I liked when she goes super sane or whatnot. Yeah, like this area or whatever. That one right there. Yeah. Right there. That's a really cool shot. I really enjoy the effects that they're doing. This is fun for me, and I really enjoyed this teaser trailer. Um, I can't get enough of the scrolls, and I think that it's going to be really cool plugging in the Fantastic Four, because um, then you can jump right in with more scrolls. Talk more about the scrolls. Your friend is in this one, right? Yes. So I actually have a friend that is in uh, the Captain Marvel movie, and um, he's a, he thinks he's a scroll. He didn't disclose to me what he is he did say though that he is in some form of an alien uniform and i assume that it's probably kree but it could very easily be scroll so i'm not i'm not certain which of that it is because it's very secretive but he told me that and i was able to confirm through some uh image evidence some photographic evidence that he was there and another cool thing was that it was actually filmed on locations um, like Fresno, which is a place where I used to live. What? Well, yeah, because there was a desert. <laughs> yes, but also the deserts that they were shooting in were also in, um, what was it, like Lancaster, Rosemond area, born which there. is where I was born. So that's super cool as well. So um, a lot of a lot of this feels very personal for me, and I really I'm really excited for this movie. Personal. It does. It kind of like it feels a little bit closer to home, you know, like because it it was where closer to where I was born, some places where I was raised, where I grew up, and so uh, yeah. Really, uh, really cool stuff. I'm really happy with a lot of this little like personal connections to the behind the scenes and the making of. It's and be I, fun. I'm really, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I think that regardless of whether or not you know, like you might think Brie Larson's gonna be awesome. We've got That's a killer fun. lineup. Like 
like I'm saying, she'll probably do a good job. Gmon, I just don't like her. Yeah. Ugh. I I think that she's cool, but I'm very, I'm in the minority here. Not a lot of people feel the same way that I do, but I'm I'm willing to give her a chance. Give everyone a chance. I give everyone a chance. It's <laughs> true. That's my policy. I like to give your I like to give people a chance. Worst qualities. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes that drives people bonkers, like my wife. You didn't want to give Anna Diop a chance in Who's Titans. That? Starfire. Uh, okay, no, no, no. I have to think of it like that she's not Starfire. Otherwise, yeah, she's a, she's a really good actress. I like her. And as... in the role, too, she's, she's good. It's just, I know for you, you have to separate her so it's not like she's playing the role that you enjoy the most, which is Starfire. Well, I don't even think she does. I don't think they like, did a good job like of portraying Starfire, though, even like within the writing. Great actress, besides that. It would have been helpful if they had given her some sort of an orangey tint to her skin when she's not powered up. You know what I mean? There's something that like some her. besides. I mean, like even if she had just like had whatever, I'm not gonna like get makeup it. or yeah, something. I enjoyed her performance. I like her as an actress. I just think that that was one of the parts that kind of like pulled myself out of the out of the show a little bit was having to think about that. It's like, she's not really like Starfire though. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this teaser trailer, this special look trailer for Captain Marvel, let me know down below and let me know what was your favorite part. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, share it with one of your nerd friends. Please <laughs> subscribe if you have, yeah, or, or, or thumbs down if you didn't enjoy this video, thought I'm it kidding. sucked. Yeah, and then uh, leave a comment and let us know that it sucked. Also, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I upload a new video or when I go live next time. That way you can take part in the video in the comment section as well. So all of that being said, thank you for coming on the channel yet again. You're welcome. And uh, looking forward to having you on more often. Wow. Yes. And uh, she's a nerd. Make no mistake. It's going to be a good time having you back. Anyway, you guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.